Good Friday morning, everybody. It is October the 18th, and I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, which is on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X. And it's all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Okay, well, it's another uh, crispy morning across southern Kentucky, and uh, we may get one more tonight but I don't think it's going to be quite as chilly as it uh, is this morning. Uh, Temperatures are around freezing. I'll check all those with the uh, Kentucky Mesonet here in just a few moments. First, we take a look at the Plano Cam here from Plano, Kentucky, just outside of the city limits of Bowling Green, and we're looking at a beautiful clear sky, but it's frosty this morning. I noticed on my windshield there's uh, plenty of frost out there and probably where you live you're seeing the same thing and uh, just allow yourself some time to get the windshield scraped or like I do I just turn on the engine and let it run for a few minutes and defrost and that usually does the trick so yeah we do have that again this morning here's a look at uh, the latest advisories and as you can see we've got bowling green southern kentucky most of the state of kentucky under that frost advisory through 8 a.m so as i do this at 7 30 we only have 30 more minutes for that advisory to be in effect will there be one tonight i i'm gonna say probably not um, I'm looking at lows tonight more into the upper thirties. So I think we may get by without having, um, a frost advisory tonight. Um, there could be a couple of places that do get a touch of frost overnight tonight, but I think that should be it. And then after this temperatures are going to warm up over the coming days where we won't have to worry about frost. Everything's going to uh, be much better in that regard. And we've got a big warm up coming, no doubt about that. In fact, it's going to be a uh, fairly nice warm up, putting us back to where we should be for this time of the year, and maybe even above the normal, which is around 70 degrees or so. As we check temperatures right now from the Kentucky Mesonet Network, you can see that we've got lots of 30s, lots and lots of 30s. Uh, There is, I know the borders are hard to see when uh, the blue gets pretty deep like that. The coldest I see is 30, well, actually 29.6 degrees in Burksville with the Kentucky Mesonet sensor that's down near the Cumberland River. Uh, Typically, it is the chilliest out of all of them this time of the morning. Uh, You've got upper 30s, mid 30s, pretty much everywhere this morning. So everybody's right at freezing or just a little bit above that. Uh, Calm wind, pretty much, or a very, very light wind. So you're going to see uh, frost this morning in many locations, and you're going to have to allow some time to get your old buggy warmed up this morning and warm up yourself too. get, uh, you know, another cup of coffee or whatever it's going to take to uh, help get you going on this Friday morning. Well, let's check the model blender because it's going to tell us the story of what's to come over the next several days in the next week and the following weekend. And, We're going to go uh, probably upper 60s to near 70 for today, which would be exactly where we should be for this time of the year. And then we're going to start to see low to mid 70s for the weekend, the beginning of next week, and then upper 70s to near 80 as we head into the middle of next week. But I do see another cool down coming, and that's going to happen next week. Thursday. Unfortunately, this is going to be another dry cold front, just like the last one did that brought us 
this change in temperature that we're experiencing right now, it's going to happen again on Thursday. You see, we go from 80 on Wednesday to 69 on Thursday, and then we gradually warm back into the 70s. Uh, the, the, I guess the unfortunate part of all this is that we just don't have moisture coming in with these fronts. They just come in, they change the wind direction, and then they cool us down, but it doesn't, it doesn't help us out with uh rainfall and right now here we are the 18th day of october and we've had no rain this month at least here in bowling green we've had zero zero rainfall uh we're running to over a little bit over two inches behind where we should be for the month now year to date not bad And we're not under, believe it or not, we're not under any drought situation, according to the uh, drought monitor. It's just dry. And, but this is the time of year it does get dry, um, as we head into mid to late fall. And, um, I don't know, maybe we can get by a little bit longer without, uh, some rain, but you know, the growing season is over. So rain is not needed as much. But, I mean, it still would be good to get some rain in here just to keep us, you know, kind of on pace. But really, I don't see, I don't see any rain at all anytime soon. And here's proof of that. Uh, Look at the maps here the next few days. Uh, Here we go this afternoon, this evening, midnight, maybe some fog in the morning. Um, have to watch for that. Here's Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning, more fog possible as, cause we're going to gradually warm up each day and that warm air layer that's just above the cold, sometimes frosty ground is a perfect setup for fog. So I expect us to have some the next few mornings. There's Sunday. Here's Monday. Again, fog in the morning. Tuesday, well, look at here. We see something coming in from the northwest on the backside of this high pressure. Uh, But then it's gone by Wednesday. And Thursday, there is that cold front. That's the cold front that is going to cool us back down into the upper 60s by next Thursday, as you saw on the model blender. But the rain looks like it's going to miss us. It's going to be more north of our area. Therefore, we're not going to get the rain. Um, But I think as we get deeper into October and into November, uh, sort of a more rainier period will start to move in. We're going to go into a pattern, La Nina pattern, that's going to be maybe a little more active in that regard. And we also usually in November or even late October have a window in which we not only get rain, but we also could get severe weather. And I know it's just been so nice and beautiful lately, very fall like, and you're not even thinking about severe weather, but it can happen. And the way the patterns are moving toward that La Nina type scenario, then we could actually see some either flooding rain or maybe severe weather uh, in the coming weeks. So keep an eye on that. In the meantime, have a great weekend. God bless you as always. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you tonight on News 40 at 5, 6, and 10. God bless.